TK Sanchai Jim. What makes him so good and why is he one of the scariest men in the division right now? The great Custy Amato once said, boxing is entertainment so to be successful a fighter must not only win but he must win in an exciting manner. He must throw punches with bad intentions. Oh, wow! This about summarises Tarrant Chai in a nutshell and why he has quickly become a fan favourite. The shot selection, timing, speed, power, remaining defensively sound whilst producing highlight reel knockouts. What's not to like about watching this man fight? His attack sounding like a cricket bat connection. So this is a performance. Oh, clubs, clubs. Oh, with that right hand. Thank you, thank you. face is a horror story. Look that nice look at that nice little step through to the right. He changes stances then. Oh, yes. big the big kick Left side, roundhouse kick. When you think Tarrant Chai, you think about a left kick. Throws it. Like all good Southpaw Muay Thai fighters, his game revolves around the left roundhouse kick to the head, body and leg. The left kick is part of his DNA. In stadium fights, the body kick is as safe as houses way to secure points and stay ahead on the scorecard. Left kick, move, left kick, tie up, adding the occasional throw into the mix. Southpaw slicks the stuff. The hand trap and pivot is used to create an angle where the opponent can't react to the kick in time. He slaps the lead hand of an orthodox stance opponent slides around their close side and delivers the kick across the midsection. It's bread and butter stuff for a southpaw Nat Moy. As a famous stylist, he's essentially a back foot counterfighter, working best off of an opponent's aggression, which is why Dutch style pressure boxers generally don't match up very well against good ties. Go watch Holskin vs Bukow, Superbomb vs Gregorian 2, Yards and Clark vs pretty much anyone and tell me otherwise. In order to kick, Tarrant Chai needs space to operate, which means it's in his best interest to maintain a long range. This is where his use of the teak comes into play to stop forward pressure fighters just waltzing into his space. He'll use it with the lead leg to jab and prod at an opponent as they step in, disrupting their rhythm and slowly sapping the gas tank, as well as aggressively flat-footing opponents with a rear leg to the face or chest, often taking them off the floor when he does it. <laughs> He has a teep to the face knockout that was absolutely savage. After dropping him with the left round kick to the head, the opponent stumbled to his feet before being ushered to box on, questionably so, leading to a mortal combat finisher with Tarrant Chai flat footing him into the shadow realm. Finish him! If you didn't already think he was a cold killer, this moment leaves no doubt. <laughs> A good teep is all in the timing, and once it's been established, attacks can be built off of the back of it. Think John Haggerty, who's built an entire game around the use of his lead leg. You can also check out the pro striking video specifically around this. The teep isn't as notable in Tarrant Chai's arsenal as it is in Haggerty's, with Haggerty's front kick being a much more standout move, but it is still very much a key component in Tarrant Chai's ability to mount his own offence whilst restricting his opponents. His bout with Petr Marokot for the one Muay Thai world title was one of the clearest examples of Tarrant Chai's understandings of basic technique and you are not likely to see as educated a front kick as seen in this contest. He basically won a world title with a front kick. He constantly varied the height and angle of the teep, sometimes to the chest, sometimes to the lower stomach, constantly changing the angle of the foot position and making it extremely difficult for Petr Marokot to read and defend against. It was a real teep clinic. Nothing getting too cleanly for the champ. Eventually, a good pressure fighter will close the gap. They will get into boxing, elbow and clinch range. The Thai style long guard is Tarrant Chai's go-to defense against punch and elbow attacks. A subtle defensive tactic is to skate around to the outside of the opponent's lead foot, away from their power side attacks, whilst using the long guard to shield himself. It is lovely stuff. As the pressure fighter backs a counterfighter to the ropes, he's forcing the counterfighter to make a decision. They'll run out of space to retreat into eventually, so options are A, don't go backwards anymore and have an exchange, B, angle out of the side door, and C, tie up and stall. 
What separates a great fighter from the pack is their decision making and their execution of it. Tauchai rarely makes a poor decision and he will cycle through options keeping himself a step ahead of his opponent. Tauchai is not only proficient in the clinch but more importantly he knows when to enter on his terms. There is a distinct difference between being grabbed by an opponent and the fighter initiating a tire. Whoever initiates the clinch is in the driver's seat at least for the opening exchange. Are you reacting to what your opponent does or are you the one leading the dance? When opting to tie up and clinch, it's key to control the biceps of the opponent as this drastically limits their offensive options. Tarantra will step back, step back and then have the awareness to know when the ropes are behind him and it's time to enter a clinch. <laughs> Tarrant Shai loves an underhook throw. In this instance, his opponent wraps his arms around Tarrant Shai's head, which forces Tarrant Shai to take the underhook whilst controlling the far side bicep to prevent elbows. As his opponent is marching into Tarrant Shai, he combines the forward momentum with his underhook to throw them to the floor. He skates the rules a little with this one as it is borderline a hip throw, which is illegal in Muay Thai, but it's a nice take as either way and pro striking can definitely appreciate. Now in kickboxing, the clinch is basically frowned upon. Go look at Petrosian versus Petch Morica and how one overturned the decision based upon Petch's overuse of tie-ups. So Tarantra is limited essentially to evade or far fight when fighting under the rule set. When forced into a far fight in Muay Thai, Tarantrai likes to use elbows, probably the most intimidating technique of them all, which serves well to part of aggressive opponents getting overly reckless with their boxing. In kickboxing, this is not an option, so he's required to be more savvy with his tactics. In his bout with David Kyria, we see the southpaw use footwork to negate the right hand of the orthodox Kyria, nullifying his boxing, which was basically his best route to victory over the tie. Conventional wisdom says to move toward the opposite side of an opponent's power hand. The next area we're gonna cover is actually circling away from your opponent's jab and your opponent's power hand. In this case, that'll be for Tarrant Chai to move to the right and away from the power right hand of David Kyria. Instead, Tarrant Chai breaks this rule by moving to his left. You see, Kyria has an equally powerful left hook and this punch can often catch a southpaw by surprise, sneaking around the lead hand on their closed side. So instead of being forced for the outside lead foot position, and potentially getting cut off by the left hook. Tarrant Chai drifted back and to his left, keeping himself just on the edge of range, but far enough for him to see and predict the right hand coming, therefore being able to evade it. This is chestnut checkers, baby. He'd encourage Kyrgios to throw the right hand by moving that way. And it also lined up Tarrant Chai's own left hand straight, which he used multiple times in the bout, particularly straight after left kicking. Look at his right <laughs> the way the fight finished demonstrate the pure power of Tarrant Chai with him snapping the forearm of Kyria with a left body kick. But the bout overall showed Tarrant Chai's adaptability to fight under a different rule set and to use footwork to negate the pressure and power punching style of David Kyria. To go back to the power of Tarrant Chai, he's literally a devastating kicker. The sheer power he can deliver it with is frightening. He literally breaks people's bones. He stopped your pub with just a couple of low kicks and obviously broke the forearm of David Kyria. Going back to what we talked about previously, Tarrant Chai requires space to kick so he'll spend a lot of time on the back foot and sidestepping to deliver the kick. But something that has really helped Tarrant Chai with his crossovers to kickboxing is the fact he also possesses power in his hands. Oh, oh, There's almost no tell what's oh, going We've seen him drop multiple people with punches in the small gloves, but he has a way of finding holes in the bigger gloves too. It's usually a hook cross or a cross hook. Classic southpaw stuff, think Georgia Petrosian. This lead uppercut into left hand was a peach in his fight against Nguyenglec. Oh, wow! His left hand is a serious threat, and this enables him to get a reaction any time he hip or shoulder faints on the left side. It's difficult to tell if he's looking to throw a kick or a punch, and the two things work hand in hand. It presents a serious problem for his opponent to predict and defend themselves correctly. And like any good southpaw, working off that left side is key. Low kick, left hand, left kick. Tarrant Chai delivers everything with both power and precision. And when combining this with his evasive skills, him being particularly smooth at laying back from punches, it makes it an intimidating prospect to try and attack him. You're stuck between being solely defensive and allowing a big hitter to tee off on you, or risk leading with an attack and getting punished with a counter that you don't see coming. It's also the efficiency of the striking to give you this match. Being the fighter. He changes stances when he throws that right hand. He comes forward, changes stances, then plays. This is what makes the best of the best. 
and Taron Chai is one of, if not the best fighter in the world right now. Pro striking is a massive fan. As always, thank you for watching the video. You can help support the channel via Patreon and keep the proverbial lights on, as well as catching extra breakdowns and content from some of the athletes I work with. If you haven't already, please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and drop a comment down below. Pro striking out, I'll catch you later. Martial arts. And two of the best of the planet went toe to toe for 15 As it, there's almost no tell. Oh, he's going to change his stances then. Oh, oh it's big bang! It's the big kick off! Left side! Chin around the head there. Okay, after he throws it. He's up and getting through cleanly for the champ. And. New! Undisputed! One featherweight point tie! Champion of.